Hello, everybody. Scott G here with the um, Pro Wrestling Logic YouTube channel and the return of the uh, ECW um, television review series. Again, we're going to do these monthly, so you'll get four to five at a time, depending on the month. Uh, I don't know how often I'm going to be here. Lots going on in my day-to-day -day life, but trying to do whatever we can. This is the April 20th edition of 1993 ECW Television Review. Uh, Eddie Gilbert fakes an apology to Terry Funk, saying that he didn't respect him as a legend, uh, and uh, that obviously leads to things later in the program. Gilbert really good with this particular approach. Gilbert, a blend of a guy like Jerry Lawler and his own Southern stylings. Then we go to the first match of the day for the Tag Team Championship. Hunter Key Robbins III presents the Super Destroyers against the Wolfman and the Super Ninja. Uh, power slam early by one of these Super Destroyers. Hard to tell who the Super Destroyers are, uh, being that they're masked, and I don't know that they've ever been re revealed. Hard clotheslines by the Super Destroyers and a hot shot from the Super Destroyers as well. Sidewalk slam by them, and uh, um, then we get a victory for the Super Destroyers, obviously. Uh, you know, that's that's where that ultimately goes down. Um, the tag team champions go get an interview with Terry Funk here. Uh, Funk starts to interview them. However, Gilbert comes at him with a steel chair from behind. Actually, too many chairs and other such things. Uh, in the early ECW stages, almost every finish seems to be, or every program ha has at least one, if not more, ref bumps in it. Kind of basic and uh, repetitive there. I do love early ECW just for the names that are in it, but the repetitive nature of things is kind of uh, interesting. Um, then we go to uh, Superfly Snuka with Eddie Gilbert as his manager versus Tommy Cairo. In the second round of the television championship tournament, uh, several minutes of back and forth headlocks. Cairo, again, I believe still undefeated at this point. He should be because they've only had a couple of weeks of television in between. Uh, and uh, goes into a belly to back suplex from Snuka. That breaks that up. Cairo goes out to the floor, including interference from Eddie Gilbert. Uh, and then undersell of a pile driver from uh, from uh, Cairo and then uh, distraction from Gilbert which leads to the referee going down leading to Johnny Hotbody coming in and interfering to further his issues with Tommy Cairo uh, post match Gilbert promises that uh, Snuka is going to be television champion uh, Terry Funk uh, is uh, eliminated for the moment as uh, we see Gilbert making fun of Funk and uh, kind of wearing his hat and doing the deep southern drawl. Gilbert says he is in control of ECW in the future um, for for things here. Uh, then we go to uh, the third, I guess, match of the semifinals. Gilbert versus Glenn Osborne, Eddie Gilbert. Tries uh, to keep things going against Osborne. Uh, Osborne basically is told by Gilbert that he should leave. Uh, really drawn out, nonsensical promo by Gilbert basically saying that he is going to um, encourage him to go take care of his family and call it an early night. On Osborne stays with him and uh, Gilbert, s Gilbert eventually sends him to the outside. They brawl around. Uh, after Gilbert does the upside down spot in the ropes, kind of hanging there, kind of sitting on the ropes, just a little bit, you know, basic brawl. And then Gilbert sends Osborne back to the outside, standing on a table. Tables used in ECW all the way back to the beginning of television. So just interesting there. Um, Gilbert stands on the table. Uh, we go back to very basic maneuvers, chin locks and the like from Gilbert. Flying clothesline and a backdrop from Osborne. Uh, Osborne is victorious after uh, Gilbert gets caught with a foreign object that he pulls from his tights. Uh, he nails Osborne with it, gets a temporary win. Referee 
is it calls it out and then we go to Terry Funk comes out and uh goes after Gilbert. Gilbert uh uh is challenged by Funk. He Funk basically says he can fight him, he can wrestle him, he can he can shoot on him. Uh, just a really, you know, kind of the old insane Terry Funk promo as it were. Uh then we see Rock and Rebel out next. Uh Rock and Rebel is a ECW staple from this time. Uh Rebel comes out and he harasses Peaches, which is the wife of the Sandman, uh, basically tries to uh, force her to kiss him. And obviously that brings out the uh, Sandman from the back. Sandman and uh, uh, Rebel, you know, goes for the assault. Sandman comes back and manages to um, go back and forth there. Sandman... Eventually, though, with his surfboard, the surfboard gets broken over the head of the Sandman, cracked in half. Looks like a brutal shot. Obviously, they pre-cut it. Uh, probably the first major angle for the championship of the Sandman. Sandman is laid out, and Peaches tries to uh, protect him. Uh, then we see uh, the... Match with Glenn Osborne versus Jimmy Snuka for the television title. Really basic match in the beginning. Super basic. Snuka with uh, some leapfrogs and other basic maneuvers. Uh, arm drags and, and the like. Both guys exchanging. Snuka obviously a heel here. A clothesline over the rope to the outside. Osborne uh, is in control, but the referee goes down after Gilbert interferes. Uh, Snooka then hits the backbreaker and the superfly splash from the top, uh, and ultimately, uh, Snooka is your first ECW television champion. Then we go back to the locker room. Peaches says that she's in no condition to talk. She needs to tend to the Sandman. Sandman and, uh, Rock and Rebel will be doing battle next week as far as that goes, and there we go. We will close for today. We'll be back with more right after this.